What is going on, you lunatics? Been an interesting few days in the community. And look, um, I expect the price to go up. I don't expect the price to go sideways. I do think that we're in the next section. But here's the part. Problem is, there's an accumulation sort of range right now that we're going through. And we, we've gonna, we're going to have to break out of it. And there's going to be a few impetus. And I'm going to explain to you what they are. If you're impatient, sell. It's okay. Um, if you're not going to make it, you're not going to make it. It's it's okay. But if you are going to make it, stick around because I'm going to show you exactly what I think is going to happen. Now, I have said before what I think is going to happen and it hasn't actually, you know, I, I really thought that we would get a, a nice little spike off of the uh, Duquan news where they finally did the settlement, but they settled for a ridiculous amount. And I think the fix is in. I think there's a, a really crazy sort of thing that happened here. And I'm going I'm to explain that why as well. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And let's break it down a little something. All right. First of all, big, big news. The Montenegrin prime minister uh, Milo, uh, his name is uh, Milashko Spachik. He's uh, apparently an early investor in Terraform Labs, which creates a real conflict of interest. It's it's incredibly odd that uh, for some reason Duquan has not been extradited um, to, to either the United States or to South Korea so far, and he continues to protest and they continue to approve it. And you know, it's a weird thing. Well, now you might have a little clarity in it, and I don't think that he's. I think a decision is going to be made very very soon about Duquan's extra tradition because I think he's going to walk into that jail cell uh, or hacienda where uh, Duquan's staying and Malashko's going to be like, look, you must go or however, whatever the accent is over there, you get it. Uh, but I, I think that, you know, because of this, this changes things dramatically. Uh, Revelation was disclosed in a court document filed by the SEC. Um, you know, they, they know exactly what's going on. So why don't we? Moving on. All right, so tax to gas has been done. So now we got about five weeks before this is completed. And once we get that completed, that's going to be one of the catalysts. But that's a catalyst five weeks from now. Let's talk about another one. But before we do, uh, we don't have any real updates on um, uh, in the Commonwealth. So again, let's get into price action. So on price action, um, you know, fundamentally speaking, we're right here. Remember I told you guys over here, I said, you know, uh, I think we're kind of up in this range, but we're going to dump down. I'm going to go to the one hour to help you guys a little bit more on this. Uh, and I did put a... Um, uh, I, I said, you know, the the we had this kind of upward momentum here, and I said if there's going to be a breakdown, and of course the broader market just broke down. I can't, you know, I can't, I, I can't tell you anymore. Uh, we had massive amounts of selling on all altcoins. Everything was just in the tank. So uh, that caused this move down here. I told you guys I expected a bounce off of nine. We got a big bounce off of nine, but it wasn't maintained and we got this drop back down. Well, then I said, well, you know what? Maybe this is just a wider or broader sort of pattern right here. And it could be that that is the case, you know, after all. Uh, I, I still think that, you know, this made a little bit more sense, but it broke down. So what I think doesn't matter. What the chart, what the chart thinks is clearly what matters. Now, what's the next step here? Well, uh, the last time we got a, a radical move off of one of those bounces um, into a range, it was up to about this level. So I expect 10.3. And, and guys, for, for days now, I've been telling you 10.003 uh, was going to be that, you know, there's going to be that play on a bounce, if you will. Uh, and then from there, the move is going to be up to 11.6. And then from there, if we can get a breakout, then we're talking about 13.9. And then from that 15 and then all the way up to uh, 22, which is going to be the, the kind of breakout move on the day charts a little easier to show you right there. I mean, that's what it really looks like, right? So we've got this big wick here for the buy, right? And that led up to uh, over, you know, 20 or 30 days. We just moved up, 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 and then boom, banged out on this, right? So what's happening right now? Same thing, low, a higher low. And 20 days, 30 days from now, boom, 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 boom. We're going to bang out uh, and, and come up on this range. Probably most likely drawing out a little bit further into where this next level of um, uh, three zeros, 15, 16 is the, the next move. So, you know, I, I just, I, I think it's going to draw itself out a little bit and bang. And it's all going to conglomerate right around here if we get a little impetus. And, and there is reason to think that we're going to get impetus because, again, if I do this a little bit laterally, it's about five weeks away. Five weeks away, it's going to be two Binance burns from now, and we will have tax to gas implemented, which means that dApps can build freely, more freely on uh, this ecosystem. So uh, I think we're in the right direction, but the next catalyst, Binance burns, coming at the first of the month. The next catalyst after that, um, 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 
There's an upgrade in the pipeline again. So we're going to see, you know, how this all plays out, right? Um, Duquan, if you remember, uh, they they settled with the SEC, four point five billion. They don't have that money. You know, I don't know they don't have that money. Yesterday, Chris Amani stated that he was going to uh, burn the keys. He was not selling the Luna Classic, the USTC, which means the government doesn't want that money. They just wanted that. Uh, they just wanted that settlement on paper so that they can then uh, they can then close out Terraform Labs and then use it as leveraged against Ripple Labs. So what they did is they took Judge Jed Rakoff. By that token, by the way, uh, they took Jed, Jed Rakoff and um, used him, if you will. Um, and, and, you know, he said, I disagree with Judge Annalisa Torres, who ruled that uh, XRP is not selling securities to individuals, but to businesses. And they, they kind of rejected it. And then Judge, Jack, Judge, Judge Rakoff, the Jackoff, said, um, you know, I... I, I I, I don't like what's going on here. And then somebody said, you want to bet? And when they said, want to bet, guess what happened? Everything moved to Terra Casino, where you can do risk-based gaming, and they are a sponsor of this channel. So uh, if you were interested in trying to help the cause and burn a significant supply of tokens, uh, Terra Casino is number six on the all-time burn list for uh, the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. And you can use Luna Classic, you can use Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, BNB, Polygon, Matic, BUSD, USDC, USDT, and Dogecoin. So if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, make sure you check out our sponsor, Terra Casino, today. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I think Rackoff is just kind of a crazy dude. So, you know, pay no attention to the man with the 82-year-old octogenarian with with, the, with all the gray every, like just gross, okay? Gross. Now, back to the price. I do think that we're in the upward trend. But again, you know, we've got $274 billion being burned off the chain. This is what it looks like. We're at 5.523. Uh, so getting another significant portion burned off the chain is going to be a windfall. Uh, also on... Um, uh, circulating supply on Terra Classic, same thing. If you can get a little bit of a rip off of that and get that pulled out, then that's going to lead to another nice little spike in the price action as well. Um, so you know, uh, just 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 incredible opportunity here. Uh, once you once you see this thing really start to rip, once you see this thing start to really really uh, go crazy, then you know I think that that represents a, a, a real cool paradigm uh, and, a, and a real cool change for the price action and everything for. Uh, Terra Luna Classic going into the long term. Now in Coin Hall, uh, you can see here a uh, future flare up 244%. Tuning Common about dead even for the day. Rack off up 1.1%. Uh, but you're starting to see a little bit of movement. Now, why are you seeing movement? I'm going to show you why in just a second uh, because th there's been some spikes and I'm going to show you exactly where you can go for those spikes. By the way, hint. It's the other sponsor of the channel. Now in Station, uh, no real governance other than the message uh, update parameters over here unbonding back max validators etc cetera, etc cetera. they're just going to do an update to the parameters uh rex yz this is the reason by the way if you have not already go check out terraport v3 and by the way it launched five minutes ago maybe 10 minutes ago when we started filming this uh lunk dash uh there, there's nothing to really report over here the burns 276 million but boom here it is uh now we've got terraport v3 is now live so if you are looking and this is the new uh paradigm up here you see, you've got a trending line up here so that you know uh what what tokens are trending to the positive on terraport uh, here are the trending tokens down here. You can see the plus or minus increases. Uh, and then you can see the token analytics over here if you are so, so inclined and interested. So here is where you go to trade. And you can see here, just fresh, clean, uh, nice looking. Uh, you know, this this is a, a, a market improvement. This gives you a market cap for it as well. And you can change the market cap to however you need to uh, break it down. You know, Osmo, USTC, Terra, uh, on and on down the line. You can see all the, and by the way, different pairings. So you can see each one of the different pairings what the liquidity is on each one of the pairings and what the volume is every day and you can go down up and down the list here and you can see the volume uh, of how much is being traded every single day and what the annual apr is because if you want to earn you can use staking farming and the launch pad over here in order to do that and uh in the launch pad uh look at this stay tuned for launch pad release five days four hours 53 minutes 30 seconds so boom now if you want to launch a meme coin here you go. You're going to have a, a proper protocol and a launch pad in order to do that. And then here's your farming. Uh, and then all you have to do is get in here and do your yield farming if you are so inclined and interested in doing it. So Terraport, big upgrade right now. 
making waves in the community, um, a much cleaner interface, a much cleaner look, a much uh, more pleasing on the eye way of doing stuff. And with that, there's plenty of opportunity here. But if you're looking for tra a place to trade, it's TerraPort.Finance. If you're looking for a place for risk-based gaming, it's Terra Casino. Guys, when you help me out, that helps me to continue to provide you with this type of content every day. And I know that there's a couple thousand of you every day that are kind of looking in and checking to see what is going on in the Luna Classic community. Um, so help me out. Cryptonomy.Finance just had an update. They are now available in four different language. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's going to be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Phi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.Finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going And By the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here, 19 June, 2025. We're gonna go three Bitcoin on this move. All right, so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game, guys. I put in half a Bitcoin uh, previously. If you remember, that was $30,000 Bitcoin at that point. So, you know, we put in about $15,000. My crude interest so far, and by the way, I do have, this is a share because it's a 50-50 split, but my cut of that $84,241 right now in Bitcoin. So this is an incredible rate of return so far for Cryptonomy.Finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to Cryptonomy.Finance today. I help them out and we all continue to do this. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. I uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit the like button and uh, leave a comment down below letting me know. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.